Are you trying to figure out your Scout Navigation in your new Toyota? Scout Navigation is available on all Intune Plus models, and it connects to the GPS in your phone. So to use the Scout Navigation, you're going to have to connect the app to your car. And this can be a little tricky, so use this guide to figure out how to do it and be a whiz at your navigation system. First, make sure your Bluetooth is connected with your vehicle. If you need to know how to connect your phone to the Bluetooth, click the link in the description section below. Now that you have your Bluetooth connected, it's time to connect your Scout app. You'll need to go to the App Store and download the Scout Navigation Link app. Be sure to click the one with the link in the name because there are two different types of Scout Navigation apps. Make sure you allow access to your location once the app has been downloaded. Now you can create an account in your app through Facebook, Google, or just using an email. Facebook is the easiest for us, so that's what we'll do. Now you're going to need to update the system in your car to be able to connect with the app on your phone. It's super simple. Just follow the prompts and it will automatically do it for you. This process can take up to 10 minutes but make sure you leave your phone in the car and your car on while it is updating or it'll stop working. While the car is updating, you can go to the app and see where you are, set up a home address, set up a work address. Everything that will be available on the car's app will be available on your phone's app before you connect to the car. So you can search for destinations, point of interest destinations, your recent destinations, and your liked save destinations. You'll be able to zoom and unzoom, as well as search around on the map. If you ever get lost, go ahead and hit the arrow button on the bottom right corner and it'll bring you straight back to where you are. Now that your setup's complete and everything is updated and connected, you're ready to go. A message will pop up telling you that it's gonna use your data plan, so just hit okay and then you'll be on your way. Once your phone's app is connected with the app on the car, you'll no longer be able to use the map on your phone. Now you can program your home. Hit the Setup Home button and the system will automatically populate addresses near you. You can also input a specific address and search it. Type in your home address and hit Search. Once the computer populates the address, you're going to click it and then click it again confirming it. Hit the back button and it will automatically save. When the home button reappears, your address will be automatically saved and it will tell you how long it will take to get to your house from the current location. If you want to go home, simply hit the home button and it will give you route options. Pick the one that best suits your needs and be on your way. If you move or you just want to change your home address that you've programmed in there, go ahead and hit the settings button in the top right corner and then hit the X to delete. You'll also notice that there's options to adjust the display screen based on if it's nighttime, daytime, or it automatically picks for you. You can search destinations and points of interest as well. Just click the search feature and up will pop a search bar and different points of interest features. Type in the address or name of your destination and it will automatically populate results. Click the result that best fits your destination and let it load. Up will pop a screen that has the options of drive, like, and call. When you hit the drive button, it'll pop up another screen which will have three different route options. Pick the route option that you'd like to start the turn-by-turn -turn navigation. To end the navigation, simply hit the X in the top right-hand corner. Now you can explore